drag queen story hour if you talk about it people go oh you're so you're so staid it's like no dude drag queen story hour i'd love it but there's something that we used to call age appropriateness that's all we're saying we're saying if you want hey look if you want to do your drag queen story hour you go ahead do it to your to the to, do it with your children your you know family but you know what there's something like third graders don't you like there's something insane about that and so that the republican party is now becoming the voice for, for sense and they're becoming the voice for just chaos and weirdness. Yeah, and then you're the bigot for saying that. Yeah, yeah. it's probably not a good thing yeah. to have second graders exposed. Exactly. And but there's something wrong with you. And this is the funny thing that, like, what have, we, what have you gone through for the past 15? What's very interesting about this description right here is that it's almost textbook projection. Because if I show you a couple of pictures, you feel me, of drag queens, like, you see how covered they are, right? There are certain people, when they hear drag queens, they automatically jump to some hypersexual understanding of whatever they come up with. But there are other people that come up with these images. What I feel like is going on here is selective more outrage. I've seen more viral pictures at Hooters with kids involved than I've seen with drag queens and kids involved. And that's no disrespect to Hooters, to women in this picture, or how anybody that work at Hooters get it, you feel me? I'm just acknowledging that there are no Republicans trying to push policy where they sensationalize and they're in a speech about how kids are being groomed at Hooters or how Hooters is trying to attack the kids. Even though we can see, again, a lot of viral pictures of kids having a great time at Hooters, eating their wings. And, you know, it's called Hooters. Come on, man. But he didn't stop there. Let's let him finish. It's the funny thing that, like, what have, we, what have you gone through for the past 15 years? You've been called a racist. So what, what, what's kind of, what, I always look for the, the kind of like the correlation. The correlation is calling them a groomer. Watch them how upset they get. No, it's that, like, that's why you, you kicked off Twitter. Yeah, if you call them a groomer, it's like, but it's like, okay, so now you know how it feels. Every time I did something on Fox, I was called, I was called a racist or a bigot. And there was no evidence whatsoever. So now I go like, okay, so you're for this, you're for this. Sounds to me like you're a groomer. What kind of, what kind of adult stranger would want to keep Listen, he said, the Democrats care about the blacks. We care about the kids. We got some here. They call us racists. We call them groomers. Ha ha, we got you. <laughs> it's almost like they created the racist groomer binary to insulate themselves from being called racist. Is that what it's giving for y'all too or no? And if we keep it real, even the Republicans all of a sudden want to talk about grooming, the call is coming from inside the house. Because not only did the House Dems try to pass a bill that made grooming a crime and Republicans didn't sign on to it, there are a lot of Republicans that are accused of doing some things to children. And y'all being real silent about it. I mean, a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? And in conclusion, I want to state the obvious. When it comes to grooming or assault against kids, it is not a bipartisan issue. And the fact that some of y'all get so lost in this house and try to politicize this issue, it's very telling of your character. Education is elevation. Bye.